I show you an ultimate laboratory guide for Town Hall 11. So first you should focus on farm for progressing your base, that's a very important thing. So upgrade your goblin so you can unlock the sneaky goblin and that's really good for farming loot and barbarian and archers for the queen and king ability because the barbarian and the archers levels count for the queen and the king ability that the archers are coming out and upgrade your spells like the rage spell and the heal spell and the jump spell because they can be very important for sneaky goblin attack to farm a lot of loot now you can go different direction but first we will discover the mitch match strategy you can upgrade your e dragons to level 2 and your loons to level 7 and it works like this Place one E-Dragon on the left and one E-Dragon on the right to create a funnel and to spam the rest of the E-Dragons in with the Warden and the Blimp. Don't forget to use the Warden ability for the Blimp and the E-Dragons of course and save the heroes for the two star and later I will give you some power tips as well. Now we have multiple armies to choose for getting a nice free star. So the first army is the Witch Lab. It is so easy to use where you put an Ice Golem and then after that you do Log Launcher which slaps around and the bowlers too and you place your heroes of course and I like to use bats but you have to run it like freeze the witch tower on the right time this is a really good strategy but you have to work with your witches your bowlers your ice golems and your bats and of course free spell don't forget it the second army I really like is the hybrid the hybrid is a lot of work and hard work. But what you should upgrade is the healers for the queen wall and the hog miners to go from the side of the base. For example, you go in one side, you attack from this side, you place your miners and your hog riders in. So you need high levels for the hog riders and miners to create a nice free star. The set dragons is a really good strategy for town 11. But you have to upgrade your dragons and the lightning spells so you can knock down two air defense in a battle. That's a very important thing. You can also farm with dragons if you like it, so then you need to upgrade it for farm as well. But the dragon strategy is knock two air defenses and get with your heroes a lot of value and choose a site for the dragons to attack. And hopefully we'll get the free star. Now you can also choose the lava loon attack strategy for war attacks and more free stats of course. But then you have to like upgrade your haste spells, upgrade your lava hound and upgrade your loons. So that's a very important thing with a lava loon attack and you need strong heroes for the attack. I hope you got some huge value but don't forget about this power tip what I'm going to tell you right now. So the first one is play raid weekend because then you can get raid medals to buy a laboratory potion every single week and then your lab goes a lot faster. That's a very important tip. Power tip number two, buy some hammers of fighting for your dark elixir troops because you need a lot of dark elixir troops like the falks, the golems, the lava loon and the hog riders and so much so I recommend you buy some hammers of fighting. Power tip number three, don't forget to watch these videos where I show you the strategies on how to get 2000 gems.